Hello and welcome to my first YouTube video. My name is Adriana and on my channel, I'll be sharing my passion for interior design, my love for thrifting, summer finishing tips and tricks, and some pretty cool furniture transformations. Don't forget to hit subscribe and let's get on with the video. I purchased the TV off of Facebook Marketplace for only 50 bucks. She let me know it was non-functional and definitely needed some cosmetic work. So if you're watching because you want to do this yourself or you're just simply curious, here's how I did it. So as you can see, I've been scraping off the top layer of the finish. That's because I want to get underneath so I can sand and restain the top. There are plenty of other ways to do this, but I find that using a carbide scraper gets the job done the fastest. Now that the top layer is all gone, I can go in with my sander and smooth it out. I started with 220 grit and slowly increased my way up to 400. My goal is to keep as much of the original character as possible. I've done several other cap beds in the past, but the mid-century TVs are my favorite. I tested out one of the stains on a corner and hoped it was a match. And I was pleasantly surprised that it blended in with the rest of the TV. Your girl's on a budget and I do not want to spend any more money buying materials. So the body was in pretty good condition in comparison to the top. It just needed a little bit of love. One of my favorite products to use is called Restore Finish. It gets rid of nicks and scratches and brings the wood back to life. To seal the top, I'm using Wipe On Polyurethane. This is always my favorite part because I love seeing that wood grain pop through. So the TV came with literally one knob, but I remembered I had saved some small knobs from a previous project. I polished them and rushed to put them on because light was fading fast. To my surprise, the screws were way too long and they didn't fit properly. It got dark on me, so it was done for the day. The next morning, I came up with a plan to make them fit. I don't know how I thought of this, but I found these, I think they're called wing nuts, and placed them inside the screw. It made them a lot shorter and now the knobs fit nice and tight. I know that I could have bought some shorter ones, but hey, it saved me a trip to the store. The exterior is now completely finished. If it's your first time removing the insides, I know it can be a bit overwhelming. But since I've done this a couple of times already, I'll show you how to remove it in the simplest way possible. So all I'm doing is removing the screws that are holding the cover in place. More than likely, the screws of the older models will have different shaped heads. So make sure you're using the right attachment that fits. Also, these TVs store energy, so please be super cautious if yours was recently plugged in. So these are the basic tools that I'm using to remove this TV. Of course, if you have the right attachments, it's going to go 10 times faster but i have to use my boyfriend's toolbox and he's not here right now and i don't want to wait so this is basically what i'm using so right now i'm just connecting anything that's connected to the cabinet and you can't forget about the screws that are connected at the bottom there are so many and this is what holds your tv in place then i flip my tv back up again and the final part is just removing the screws around the edges of the tv these are the last things that are holding the tv in place so this was taking me forever to do with my pliers but i still kept going because because I didn't want to wait for the tools. That's when I looked at my drill. It just so happens to be the attachment that holds my drill bits is the same size of the screws. Like I said, if you have the right tools, it's going to be 10 times faster. When I took out the last screw, the frame fell to the ground. I was so scared that I had damaged it, but luckily it was fine. At last, the TV was free and I was able to remove everything in one piece. The inside of this thing was filthy. It's basically accumulated 70 years of dust in here. Now it was time to reattach the frame. I was really tempted to spray paint this gold to match the knobs. But like I said earlier, I wanted to keep everything original as much as possible. After that last step, there's no reason for me to be outside anymore. So let's take this project inside. I had some leftover wallpaper for my own TV I did about a year ago. And yes, it's totally okay that it doesn't cover the edges because the back of the TV actually covers it. The only thing that's left to do is to attach this to the back of the TV and to add a neon light. I gotta make sure that it's Dorito approved first. And as you can see, he immediately found it super comfy. Just a reminder, this is what we started with and this is how it turned out. I absolutely love repurposing these TVs. That way they can be used for many more years to come. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.